Human beings have an incessant affinity towards anything that's new. The year 2011, that's almost old and over. Now comes the new year 2012. News analysis wishes everyone a happy 2012. Welcome to the Happy New Year News Analysis. News Analysis is a weekly magazine on current affairs. To begin with, the main points in a nutshell. Syrian activists urge mass rally amid observer visit. Jamaica Opposition People's National Party wins poll. Venezuela patrol tanger blaze kills 13 in Caracas. Tanzan's chimpanzee cheetah dies aged 80 in Florida. Criticism after India corruption bill vote delayed. US TV show All American Muslim Plans to Address 9 Bar 11. And now the news in detail. Syrian activists urge mass rally amid observer visit. Syrian activists have called for massive street demonstrations on Friday against President Bashar al-Assad as Arab observers continue their mission. Correspondents say the presence of the monitors has emboldened the protesters despite further killings. Up to 40 died on Thursday, activists said, mostly after security forces shot at crowds gathered in areas expecting a visit from Arab team. At least 5,000 are believed to have died since the revolt began in March. The Arab League peace plan calls for a complete halt to the violence, the withdrawal of all armed forces and the release of all detainees. The Arab mission has faced criticism being led by Sudan's General Mustafa al dabi who Amnesty International has accused of carrying out human rights violations in his own country. But the League says General Dabi has full support and the U.S. has urged detractors to allow the team to finish its work. Jamaica Opposition People's National Party wins poll. Jamaica's Opposition People's National Party has won national elections. Preliminary results show after a campaign dominated by the economy. The results mean a return by veteran PNP politician Portia Simpson Miller to the post of Prime Minister. Meanwhile, the ruling JLP conceded and current Prime Minister Andrew Hollis became one of the country's shortest serving leaders. The snap election was called earlier this month by Holness, who succeeded Bruce Golding as leader in October. With all the results declared, Mr. Simpson Miller's party gained 41 seats out of 63 for a sizable majority in the parliament. The 66-year-old was first elected to the parliament in 1976 and became Jamaica's first woman prime minister in 2006-07. large to investors to medium and small and small enterprises to youth to mothers to fathers to children no you have a government now that you can trust <laughs> Venezuela patrol tanger blaze kills 13 in Caracas. A patrol tanger has crashed in Venezuela, bursting into flames and engulfing seven cars and a bus in burning fuel. At least 13 people were killed in the accident in the capital Caracas and another 13 were injured. Rescue workers have been pulling charred bodies from the scorched vehicles. The tanger is reported to have flipped over after the driver lost control, spilling patrol that caught fire. Caracas Fire Department Coordinator William Martinez said the crash sent a river of burning fuel down the Pan American Highway west of Caracas, engulfing other vehicles also. 
The flames were so intense that vegetation beside the road also caught fire and nearby houses were threatened before the blaze was brought under control, he told Venezuelan National Radio. Survivor Mariana Sale said the bus caught fire in a matter of seconds. People started to get out of cars, the traffic was paralyzed, nothing was moving in either direction, she said. Around 15 to 20 of us opened the route through the vegetation and managed to save ourselves. Charles and chimpanzee cheetah dies aged 80 in Florida. A chimpanzee who apparently starred in Tarzan films in 1930s has died at the age of 80 according to the sanctuary where he lived. The Sun Coast Primate Sanctuary in Palm Harbor said he died on Saturday of kidney failure. He had acted alongside Johnny Weissmuller and Maureen O'Sullivan in Tarzan films uh, from 1932-34, it claimed. The animal loved finger painting and watching football and was soothed by Christian music. Sanctuary spokeswoman Debbie Cobb told the Tampa Tribune that Cheetah came to live at Palm Harbor from Johnny Weissmuller's estate in about 1960. Chimpanzees in zoos typically live 35 to 45 years, she said. It's not clear what lay behind Cheetah's longevity or what evidence there is for it. A sanctuary volunteer told the paper that finger painting was not Cheetah's only talent. When he didn't like somebody or something that was going on, he would pick up some poop and throw it at them, Ron Priest said. Criticism after India corruption bill vote delayed. India's opposition parties have bitterly criticized the government for its failure to put the controversial anti corruption Lokpal bill to a vote in the upper house of parliament. The house was adjourned amid chaos after debate stretched to midnight. The opposition BJP said the government had orchestrated the chaos as it was not sure it could pass the bill. The Lokpal bill gives in an independent ombudsman powers to prosecute politicians and civil servants. The bill passed the lower house on Tuesday. It needed to be passed in the upper house on Thursday in order to become a law. The bill now have to be revised and presented again. The government said it had respected the constitution with adjournment at midnight and that the people of India would know who was responsible for the failure to reach a vote. But the BJP immediately called on Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and asked him to resign, saying his government had shown it was not fit to rule. The government has lost all moral right to continue in power. It should re resign immediately. Opposition leader Arun Jaitley told reporters. The ruling Congress party was never serious and committed to bring a strong Lokpal. It knew that it would never be able to get the bill passed in the lower house, so it choreographed the entire drama of debate, which continued till midnight, he said.